Hey y'all, today I want to show you how you can replace grass in Photoshop. Because when you have that ugly brown grass that looks like a big turd, it's a bummer. So let's get into it. All right, so here we are. I got Photoshop opened up and I have my first image and uh, it's on our background layer here. And I also have uh, grass that I have. Um, I just found this grass online. Um, you can just do a search for that and you'll find something similar. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is resize this grass to, the, to, to match the grass on the lawn. So I'm gonna hit Control T or Command T and come up here and grab these handles and bring it down. And I think what I'm gonna do is drop the opacity a little bit so I can actually see in the background if you'd like to move your image around while you're working on it, um, the easy way to do that is to hold down your space bar and then click and drag around. So we're just gonna resize this up a little bit. Before I finish this, the one thing I wanna point out about this particular image is that the grass over here is sloping up. So I don't wanna use this part. Um, I only wanna use the part that's down here. So again, we'll hit uh, Command or Control T to resize it, and I'm gonna bring it up here and resize it just to fit the edges. And I think that's probably gonna be perfect. So then I'll go ahead and bring up the opacity to 100%. And now what we wanna do is we actually just wanna brush it in, so we're gonna mask it out first by hitting this mask. And right now the mask is basically showing the grass because it's white and the way we want to hide it is to hit command or control I and that will ha that will hide the grass and then what we're going to do is start painting it in where we want to and we do that by grabbing our brush tool and we want to go up here and reduce our hardness to zero um, bring our opacity and flow all the way up to 100 and in order to reveal something in a mask you need to paint it with white so you can click on this. If, if these are like some random colors and you need to you know, make it black and white, how you can do that is just hit D and now you have black and white. And now if you wanna to toggle, the one that's in front here is the one that is actually active. So right now white is active. If I wanna switch back and forth, I can just hit X and I'll go back and forth. It's nice to know keyboard shortcuts makes things a lot quicker. Um, another keyboard shortcut that's good to know is to zoom in. And the way you do that is you hold down Option or Alt and use your mouse and scroll. And you can just scroll in and out and that'll help you zoom in and out quickly. So now we're gonna start painting in our grass. And don't worry if you go over the grass line, we're gonna fix that after. If you need to adjust your brush size, you can do that by hitting your left and right bracket. So left bracket adjusts it smaller and right bracket, bracket makes it bigger. Now that we've got that, what we can do is start fine tuning this a little bit by hitting X again to change to black. And what we wanna do is go into our brush hardness and raise that up, maybe to 50%. And then we'll just start brushing some of that away. Now, this is a little bit quick and dirty. You can obviously get in here and fine tune things as much as you want. Oh, I'm a little bit too far. If you go too far, you can hit Command or Control Z 
And I think for the front, what I'm gonna do is do something a little bit different. I'm gonna hide this real quick. I'm gonna grab my polygon selection tool and I'm going to draw, make a line right here, or a selection, right on the border. And then I'll hit view on that again and I'll select my brush tool. And so what's gonna happen now is when I brush this, it's only gonna brush anything that's inside this selection. I hit Command D, that deselects. And that looks pretty good. So the only thing that I would say about this image right now is it doesn't look very realistic. Um, it looks, you know, probably better than it did before, but my last step in this process is to just reduce the opacity of this so that it blends a little bit better with the original grass. So make sure that we have this layer selected and then we're gonna grab this opacity right here and start dropping it down. If you wanna see it full screen, you wanna hit Command Zero and that'll fill up the screen. So about 58% looks pretty good to me. So that's our before. And that's our after. Again, you can fine tune this a little bit, but it's, uh, you know, this is really the taste. And for me, I think this looks pretty good. I honestly don't think anyone would notice that this is, you know, enhanced or faked in Photoshop. All right, so let's go over to our second image and try it again. We got the same house. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bring the grass layer over to that image. And first I'm going to delete the layer mask. I'm gonna ruin the entire job that we did which is a huge bummer, but um, you know, this is just for you to understand how this works. So I'm gonna click and drag this over to our other image and drop it on there. And then I'm gonna go through the same process again, which is to reduce the opacity so that I can actually see below. And I'm gonna resize this. I think that's about where I want it to be. And then we're gonna create our mask again. Um, if you wanna like eliminate one small step, um, instead of clicking this and then hitting Command I to invert it, what you can do is just hit hold down Option and click this mask and it'll automatically create a black mask for you. So let's grab our brush again and we've got our opacity and flow up to 100%. You know, again, we're gonna drop our hardness down to zero and we wanna make sure we have white selected because white's gonna actually reveal whatever's in the mask. Um, again, hitting X and then we'll start painting it in. I'm gonna try to be a little more careful this time. Not be such a maniac when I'm doing this. There we go. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And now we'll, you know, get rid of some of the spillover by uh, hardening the brush, maybe 50% or so. And again, we wanna paint away areas that we don't want, so we want to have black selected. So we're gonna hit X. And I think I'm gonna do the same thing again with the polygonal tool. It makes it pretty simple. Let's 
So I think that's uh, I think I got a little bit more here actually. Actually, I think that is looking pretty good. So that again, the last step on here would be to just drop the opacity. Now I'm gonna hit Command Zero so that I can see the full picture and get an idea of what everything looks like before I start reducing opacity. And I think that looks pretty good right there. So here's the before and here's the after. Grass looks, this grass looks pretty good in this image, but sometimes you'll have an image that might be really bright or really dark um, and the grass doesn't match up all that well. Um, one thing you can do is to change your brightness or even change your vibrance or any of these adjustments you can add uh, to this grass layer. And if you want to do that where you add it to just the grass layer without affecting the entire image, um, you can do it like this. So let's say we want to reduce the brightness. We'll click on this adjustment layer, brightness, and once we have that opened, you want to hit this, and this will make it just affect the layer just beneath it. So now we're only affecting grass layer and not the entire image. So if we come down here and drag this brightness, it's only going to be for that layer. Um, like I said, I think this image, the grass, uh, was really suitable for this image. Um, but sometimes, you know, it might not be the case. So something like this might be kind of helpful. I mean, you could drag this down a little bit. Um, that doesn't look bad to me. Here's, you know, a before and after of that. I think, you know, either one of these would be passable for anybody. This is just another way you can enhance your photo. So that's it, pretty simple. If you're interested in learning how to change the color of something inside Photoshop, anything, furniture, anything like that, then check out this video here. And if you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button and hit that bell to get notified when new videos come out, which are gonna be once a week. So that's it, thanks so much, and I'll see you on the next one.